Let's do this. A typical day for me would begin usually between 4 and 5.30 a.m. I get up and I immediately start working because as a database maintenance guy, we have to do a lot of making sure all of our environments are online and running and ready to use for all of our developers. And so doing that really early in the morning kind of makes it a nice, easy, clean slate for everybody else to work on. I work for a few hours in the morning and then I usually clock out for a little bit get the kids ready for school. Around nine o'clock is when I check back in. We do a team meeting where we kind of just go over what we're doing today, what our goals, hopes, and dreams, and nightmares have been. And usually by the end of the day, I'm cleaning up maybe a couple service calls, emails, just making sure I'm setting things up for the next day. And Skyward's been very supportive of all of the remote workers. With the advance in technology, it's really easy to stay in touch with my teammates and others from across the Skyward universe. Collaboration is not an issue at all from working from home. I've been working in the office now for a while and I think that's great. It's easier to ask questions and stuff. When I get here, I will log in and check out the Kanban board. So that's how we organize and keep track of what we're doing. You could have projects in a number of different stages of the process. So just making sure they keep moving along. And then we'll have a refining meeting. So those are times to look at our backlog and projects that are basically coming up and make sure we have all the requirements that we need. Then we estimate to see how much time we think it'll take and what kind of impact it will have. You gotta be really good at failing. Failing is gonna happen. It's gonna happen daily. It's gonna happen big, it's gonna happen small. But when it does, you gotta be okay with the failures because that's how you get better. There's a hundred ways to do the same thing. So it's really up to the programmer to take the problem and interpret it. And that's why it's great to have a lot of diversity because everyone thinks differently. Everyone has different perspective and can solve the same problem different ways. That really does make you feel good when you start with nothing. You look at the screen and there's it doesn't do something and now it does the thing that you wanted it to do.